Hello, um, today I'd like to talk a little bit about a new sale that we're having. We just added some incredible models, two models that are really just smack and beautifully designed to the half price section. Uh, first of all, it would be the Madrid, which is, um, it's one of my favorite models that they're selling right now. Um, the Madrid is just, it's a three inch brim hat, custom made in Spain. Um, it has basically the same specs as like a Seville um, or, or like my green hat, which I wear a lot, but with a three inch brim instead of like a two and a half, two and three eighths, you know. So it's, um, it's pretty sick actually. Let me see if I can bring it up for you here. The Madrid, you know, let's just put in the back room, JJ Hat Center. Okay. And let's put Madrid. Okay, so you're getting a hat that's um, got a kind of an elegant crown, but a pretty youthful look because it's a very kind of a today look, a three inch brim. And um, very tasteful colors they have. Like, uh, this is probably the most fashionable color. I, I love the whiskey and the plum. It looks a little bright here, actually. It's not a bright, yeah, you know, it's kind of like the way it's being picked up by the camera, yeah. Yeah, see the dark version? That's a little more like it, like that. That's like what it's really like. Um, the Madrid is crazy. It's got a three inch brim with a little snap to it. It's not like a weak, you know, soft, but it's um it's that kind of stuff like the um softer european more luxurious felt so don't expect a stiff hat it's not stiff it's just just quality um it's got the raw edge with the whip stitch which um you know how a raw edge looks very sharp you know like my hat has got a sharp edge rather than like a you know like a light felt that's folded over it's kind of fat looking the whip stitch is something that became famous on the, the Como hat. Um, and um, I don't know when that came out, but it was very popular in the 90s when I first started working. It's like the luxurious Italian hat, like uh, trademark, you know, the whip stitch on the raw edge. So what it does is it makes a sharp looking edge look even sharper. So it's like just that tiny, it's almost like you can't see the edge, the side anymore. You, know, you can see like the side of this felt you know when it's nice and thick you could actually see the side wall of it when they do a whip stitch it makes it so thin that it's just razor sharp you know like an exacto blade and that's what's cool about that hat it's um it's big but it's elegant it's not all that like it's not too much to carry it's a really nice hat for somebody who just wants like a fashionable look or you know uh a youthful look or something or somebody who's a little bigger that's uh, considering going bigger than like a two and three eighths inch brim um most hat companies don't do three inch brims so the only way to do it is to go custom to brands like this and hopefully find a place that's really good at designing and knows like all the good you know specs to put on the whip stitch the good colors you know keep it classical and stuff and um you got to go custom um, Stetson just started making three inch brims and it used to be like you couldn't even get them in American hats you know they didn't even make them you had to go to custom brands like Biltmore or somebody like that and hope they had a three sometimes they did two two and three quarters that was their you know big but uh, Stetson is now doing the calico and they're doing even wider wider things so you know there's a lot of young people there now there's a lot of great designers both men and women um, who are designing some younger looking hats these days and um, a lot of them are hitting like right on target um, especially that their flat brim stuff their strata liner and their um, open road stuff they've been making so many different varieties um, I guess they're trying to see what works you know but um, you know they have like an open road they have an open road made out of dress felt the Royal Deluxe they have some other kind of distressed one, which is almost the same, the 6X Western version. And then they make a, a pure open road, which is like 395. It's all beaver. 
Now they do a 100 X open road, uh, which is, I don't know how much that one is, 800 or something like that. Um, so there's a lot of open roads, you know, and um, they're doing a lot of things there, which is cool that, uh, you know, they're blowing some, off, some of the dust off uh, an old company and they're really reviving it. And, um, and I'm into it. I like all their new stuff. Um, they're making a lot nicer new hats now that are, are really impressing me even more than the old stuff, like the Asher. That's, you know, that hat is fantastic. One and three quarter inch brim with a teardrop and a bound edge and a thin ribbon. It's just so clean and so classic. Okay, the other hat that's on sale now, which is kind of uh, a really good thing for, you know, for you guys, I'm going to say um, not the Madrid, but the Cyrus. The Cyrus C-Y-R-U-S is a two and one quarter inch brim. So this is two and three eighths. Um, two and one quarter is like to shave a one sixteenth off of each side. So it's almost like if this had binding, like taking the binding off. That's how much smaller it is. It's like, it feels a tiny bit smaller than like a big brim, like two and three eighths inch hat, but not that much. It's like almost that, you know? Um, it's just like enough to just sort of make it look neater. It's like neat looking. Um, low crown, and the outstanding feature on the Cyrus is the velvety texture. It's a real elegant suede felt. It's not a thick, thick velour kind of 70s huggy bear kind of thing. It's more of a very nice European, like it makes the colors pop more. Like if you look at the blue, the blue is like a richer blue because it's like a blue velvet instead of just like a flat, you know, flat blue felt. Um, you know what blue felt looks like and then you know what like blue velvet looks like. It's kind of like the color is there and it's like, bam, there's the color. It it's like exudes richness. It's got the double bow you can see on the left, well, the right side of your screen. Um, double bow. Uh, most of their hats, I think they have the wind cords too. I know the Cyrus has the wind cord. Does this one have the wind cord? I'm not sure. But uh, you can just see the finish here. It's a good shot of the finish. The Cyrus quality. You could just, it, it's got that touch. You know, it feels I don't know if you've ever felt like a really expensive vintage derby or vintage ball of, you know, that's like velvety, that has that beaver velvet feel. It's almost like you're touching it, kind of like a blue velvet crown royal bag. You're touching it, but you're not really fully touching it. It's so soft. It's like a velvet texture like that. And um, it's lightweight. It's not a heavyweight hat, but it's got a good piece of leather. The sweatband's a nice thick piece of leather with a soft leather too and um, you know everything about their hats is quality and blowing these out at half price is nice um, it's a good thing um, I've never seen the burgundy yet the burgundy sounds really cool so, you know obviously it's not for everybody but um, here's a shot of it with the brim up okay. Get in there, hold on. Let me make it bigger for you there. Navy blue band, rich burgundy, kind of a, a velour, but a velour with a whip stitch. See, it's not a thick like a Kojaki kind of a velour, old school velour. It's more like an elegant European hat with a velvety finish, you know? So don't associate it with like heavyweight velour hats. It's more of a, you know, standard weight felt with um, more of a velvety finish to just give it a more custom edge. It makes it look more polished and expensive in a way. Some people feel uh, velvety texture is too much. I feel, you know, it, it doesn't really matter for me as long as the rest of the hat is right, you know, I'll take it either way. This actually even comes in that amazing plum color, which is like 
in between a blue, navy blue and a purple. It's like sometimes it looks like navy, other times it looks kind of like this purplish slate color, kind of like purple that's like leaning towards a navy gray or something. But it never looks like outrageously purple, where it's like, man, that's funky great bay pattern you got there, you know? It's never like that. It's more tasteful, like, like a navy hat plus. It's just cooler, because it goes with everything. All your, you know, if you have burgundy stuff, it would go with that. Well, any purple stuff it would go with, but it's more like it would take the place of a navy hat, but in a cooler way. If that makes any sense? You could put this exactly where you would put your navies and stuff, but it would look neat. In other words, let's say you had a navy coat. You top it off with this plum. Ooh, that would be nice, you know? You could even put a navy feather in there. It's just like an accent color of navy almost. I just love it. I love that color. I like it in the uh, Madrid too. It's not the velvety uh, version. The Madrid has like the flat version of the plum. I really like this cognac. It's really nice. It comes in a black, charcoal, navy, plum, burgundy, black, cognac. Yeah. Six colors. Old Cyrus. Some gray velour there. Or should I say suede felt? You can see the double bow. Uh, this one's in a spotlight. They put it in one of those little photo booths, those little white cloth tent things with the like uh, clamp lights above it. So it's a little lit up here. I'm gonna say the color is like that, but it looks like that in the sun. It's it's a mellow whiskey color. It's a really nice rust whiskey, almost like I'd say butterscotch. Yeah, it's pretty accurate actually. It's actually pretty accurate gorgeous these are all half price right now um we heard about there was a, a sale of all burgundy and navy hats they were blowing out to i don't know if that sale is still on um if you just go to jjhatcenter.com or jj hat center's facebook page it'll tell you um if you just go to facebook jj hat center it'll tell you exactly so i don't know exactly when you're watching this um if the uh, sale is still on or not, but they were doing another sale with all navy blue and all burgundy hats and the entire shop were also getting blown out. So see if you can find that. And um, if you don't have a, if you haven't signed up for JJ Hat Center's mailing list, you can do that too. They have an e-list, you know, it'll come up uh, every time they have a sale. They don't do any junk, like they have no junk. They don't sell it to anybody, they don't like that. They just basically, uh, anytime we do a sale, we send you out one email, and that's what you get, pretty much. Um, so that's pretty, ooh, I still never got my frit file. This one needs frit file. It's got some sharp ends. Some frits throughout. I need to file those. It's some, uh, one of those needle files from uh, Stumac. Yeah, that little flame on the back of this neck. I never noticed that. Flamey. Oh. Flame maple. Yeah. It's like, it's hard to see it, but there is flame on the back of this neck. Hmm. It's like a natural occurrence in some maples. It has a, a tiger stripe going against the grain, kind of. Yeah, it's all flamed out, like over... Pretty much the whole thing. Oh wow, that's cool. Well, I wish it was a little sunnier. Maybe you could see it more. Oh, that's that's nice. And uh, I do have some package downstairs. Hopefully, my new delay pedal is there. My Grand Canyons. Um...